Hello, hello, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how to make this uh, pen pal snail mail folder. And the beginning of this, uh, the base of the folder, you can find in my last video, which is uh, Jeanette Lane Crafts Live. Uh, episode four. So I will have that uh, linked for you below and I showed how to make that uh, during uh, a live broadcast with which I do Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. London time. I know a lot of my US friends are sleeping at that time but just, just something about waking up first thing Saturday morning and getting crafty and crafting along with with um, anyone who's awake at that time. So anyway, I made uh, the base of this pen pal folder during that um, video. So I will definitely link it for you below. I am also giving away this pen pal folder to one lucky viewer. So to enter that, you need to go comment on the original uh, stream video, which again, it's linked in the description. And yeah, just leave a comment. Any comment will do. It's open worldwide and I will be selecting a winner um, Friday. I think it's this upcoming Friday. I don't know what the date is. The 8th? That doesn't sound right. I think it is the 8th or the 7th the seventh <laughs> and uh yeah so i'll be doing that and then shipping that off to somebody so that hopefully they will get it by valentine's day the winner so good luck to everyone again make sure to comment on the original live stream video now when you make something for your pen pal a creative uh letter creative mail of some sort it's nice to include some like additional extras besides your handwritten note. So usually what I would do when I had, when I was an active pen paller, I would send um, like a little tea bag, I would send stickers, I would send washi tape samples, I would send die cuts, ephemera, um, scrappy pieces of paper that I thought were beautiful, like big enough, I mean obviously not little itty bitty scraps of paper, but big enough pieces uh, to use in a project. Usually pen palers, my pen palers were also into planners and like card making so that they could, you know, it was good to send them these little bits so that they could in turn use those things in their own, in their own projects and crafting. So it was just a little fun way to spread the love, spread the goodies, <laughs> spread the goodies to, you know, your pen pals, to your friends across the world. Now I'm trying to make my little folder here very Valentine's Day themed, so you're gonna see lots of hearts, lots of pink, lots of flowers, which is honestly things that I love anyway all year round. Uh, but I don't have a lot of Valentine's Day stuff in my stash, just a few things here and there. I did buy, uh, two days ago, I bought some downloads, some digital downloads from acdigitals.com. And I forget the name of the collection that I bought, but it was great because it was paper. It was like the full collection that was once on sale through American Crafts. So it was like die cuts and a, a, like ephemera and paper, like really nice paper and tags and whatnot. But I bought the digital collection, which means that I can print it forever and ever. I really love to use digital downloads, especially when I have ink in my printer and it's working. <laughs> I like to use them in my crafting, journaling, layouts, everything. They just work out so nicely because you can print them out as many times as you'd like. So uh, most of the, you, you'll keep seeing me use kind of the same flower die cuts in throughout this tutorial. And those came from Papercraft Essentials Magazine, issue 176, which I believe is sold out on Craftstash and Mormags.com. But I will try to find it for you and include a link below. It was just a great issue. And it came with a paper pack and also a ton of die cuts, like floral die cuts, butterflies, dragonflies, leaves, um, so many, yeah, just really nice little like toppers that said like happy birthday. It was a great set, a great issue. So if you have your hands on that, if you were able to get a copy, then you're very, very lucky. Indeed, I absolutely love, 
love the die cuts and you'll see me use them throughout probably in a lot of future projects. So I will be sending a lot of little sticky note samples to the winner of this pen pal folder and I'm also going to be using some of the sticky notes uh, incorporating those into my like little collage, my little layering action that I'm doing here on the side and also throughout the rest of the pen pal folder. I think it just kind of brings ties the theme together you see that same color throughout I do like to create like balanced compositions balanced layouts so if I put a little bit of blue on one side then I will put a little bit of blue on the other side and also when I am doing any kind of project um, I play it on the safe side when it comes to color I find that I stick to a certain palette and I don't deviate from it because I'm not very confident with color um, when I do need a little bit of help I'll end up turning to Pinterest and looking up those palette pictures the color palette pictures that's really fun to do um, but I do tend to stick to things that are safe so for example I'm using pinks uh, black and white gold green uh, light blue and light purple pastels and that's kind of what you see throughout. I was thinking about adding a pop of yellow here and there, but then I thought, oh, no way, I don't, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Uh, let me know your color confidence level. Are you really good with color, mixing colors, and um, color coordination? Let me know what you're at on a scale of one to 10. One being you are, have no idea. <laughs> You're colorblind at a one. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. One is you're not very confident. Ten is you are a master pro at colors, mixing color, matching, complementary colors, whatnot, and whatnot. Now for this particular section, I wanted it the position of like the flowers and the leaves. I didn't want them to budge. Um, when I was gluing anything down. So I will be strategically gluing this whole section down. So I'll put everything down the way I like it. And then I'll barely lift up each element and put a little bit of glue underneath. Now this is because sometimes I will create like my layout and then I will swipe everything off. So I will clear the, <laughs> clear all the elements off and then I'll glue them back and then sometimes they're just I don't glue them back the original way that I laid them out let me know if this happens to you so this time I wanted to make sure that it was exactly the way um, that I wanted the way that I originally laid down my elements because when I close my pen pal folder I wanted some of the um, the things the like layers to peek out from the sides if that makes any sense but anyway so you'll see me just lift things up like here and there just because I wanted the position the positioning of this to not I didn't want it to move because sometimes it just I glue it down I'll, I'll arrange my elements and then I'll be like okay I clear them all off and then when I bring them back to glue them down it doesn't quite look the same as when I originally laid them down let me know if this happens to you Maybe it's just me, but uh, anyway, I have ended up finding that I wanted the banner, this little page flag to stick out just a little bit more. Like I glued it down too high because I wanted it to pop, to be able to see it when the pen pal folder was closed. So what I'm doing is I'm trimming, I'm going to trim off the top of this extra page flag and then I'm going to just extend the banner and then the little top third that's left over I'm going to glue it at the top so it just looks like one long continuous banner instead of two little page flags now the problem with that is that it's really crooked I didn't realize at the time that it was so crooked and it really bothers me so I do apologize to the future winner sorry that I didn't pay attention and see just how crooked that is it's really bothering me a lot but that happens and I can't even reposition it because I'm using this really strong adhesive which is one of my favorite glues probably the best glue ever it's really it I compare it to the Tombow um, liquid glue which I also love uh, but this one's just amazing. So it's Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. 
it's just a good adhesive but once it sets like you don't you're gonna tear your paper if you budge it so i am stuck with that crooked banner that really bothers me anyway <laughs> you know what in, in retrospect um as i'm looking at different parts of this project of this pen pal folder i think hmm, i could have done this i could have done that i could have taken a little bit more time to do that but it's just one of those things when you're crafting like i really wanted to create like little mats and layers for each section but i was kind of lazy and i couldn't find the right paper for the different sections that i wanted to use and it was just an addition it was going to take me more time and it just got me thinking about just time in general and the things that you choose to invest time in and then the things that you don't choose to invest time in it's just interesting thinking about that sort of thing i don't know i whenever i do any kind of crafting i get these really <laughs> like weird thoughts about like almost philosophical thoughts about life and how it's relating to my crafting i don't know if i'm the only one that does that i don't think i am i am hopeful that i am not so let me know if you get really deep thoughts about life when you are crafting because so i was just thinking about time and how precious it is and also how sometimes you choose to invest in certain things and you don't invest time in other things. Deep thoughts from the craft desk. Anyway, here it is. Here is my pen pal folder, all nice and complete. I have added um, different little sticky notes throughout. I've incorporated some sticky notes into the design, some um, additional like little die cuts that my pen pal can use my winner sorry can use as a bookmark um little tags that they can incorporate into their own crafts that they can give away to somebody else if they don't want them so anywho i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial it was really fun to put this together just this like quick little snail mail folder that you can send it to a friend again don't forget to enter the giveaway you can enter that on the original live stream uh which i will link in the video description i'll make it really clear so you can see it <laughs> thank you so much for watching and pretty putting up with all these crazy things that i say on these videos <laughs> really appreciate it i hope you have a great day and i will see you real soon take good care bye